Hey folks, what's happening? So I've decided to come to Camden Town. I'm staying near King's Cross tonight. Um, but I didn't know when I'd have the opportunity to come and visit Camden again. So I've just jumped on a tube, got off for Camden, and I thought we'll just go for a little walk. Let's do it. Big fucking pizza. It's gonna be closed mostly, but we can wander through and we can see. We can at least try and see what's on sale here. It's a pretty depressed looking Spider-Man. You've seen better days. Sorry for the bouncy camera, but I'm doing my best. Camden Market has always been a place that I've wanted to come with like a nice little budget and just go nuts on the street food. Just give myself 20, even 30 quid and just try stuff. Just like gorge myself on cool grub. To be fair, they do look pretty happy. I love a buffet. I'm not sure if I want to do a buffet. Oh man, they got bow buns. Two pound fifty. Very tempting. I know it's dark, but hopefully you can see some stuff, you know, you can make things out. Lots of smells in the air. You've obviously got weed and that, but the thing I can smell most is just incense. Which I think is the smell I associate most with Camden Market, it's what I remember most at least. Oh, thought he was walking out. 
is not something I would have liked to have filmed. I regretted not buying the bow bun. I probably wouldn't have bought just one, I would have bought like two. And they would have been delicious. I haven't eaten yet. So why didn't I buy it? It's foolish. It's too far away now, I'm not going back. Oh, I think Pancras. Let's go for a wander. Let's follow the dog. Let's follow the dog. Oh, he's going to bed. Something interesting down there. It's a Starbucks in the boots. Earlier this year. I sort of lived in Margate for six weeks. Horrible place. Christmas. This is the Eurostar. Billets. Forgot about the piano. The roof. Mm, my wonder. Yeah, we got some muggles. do with a hat. It's probably Slytherin, right? Some but the beer tasted some in Florida. It's pretty good. Can't quite remember what it tastes like. Let's have a think about it. I think it's like pumpkin spice. I think. A lot of bling. Maybe Slytherin. wear those jumpers. You know, if it wasn't Harry Potter or anything. The hell's this thing? All 
these muggles. Muggles everywhere. Platform nine and three quarters. It exists. I think we're on the street where the hotel is. I don't have high hopes about this one. Whatever, in it. One night. Just get involved. I have walked straight past it. There it is. The Arriva Hotel. I can see a bed, I can see a TV, I can see an open window. Right next to the door is the bathroom. We've got obviously the toilet, we've got the shower. At least, yeah, there it is. I couldn't see it. Oh, look, there are all these little souvenirs. Let's take a step in. Well, is that even a blanket? Is that even a duvet? I'm not sure about the duvet, but the pillows feel okay. <sighs> what have we got here? So we've got the kettle with milk and some PG tips, that's good. Um, big fan of that. I, I find the phone that is really trying to be inconspicuous. Um, little tiny telly, but you know, whatever. Let's have a look at the window. Holy crap, that's, that's an open window. Let's see what's outside. People's houses, I think. Oh. I'm sure it's fine. And of course we have the art. So, actually, you know what? We know what that bridge is now, don't we? Because we were there last week. One opposite Big Ben and Parliament, which is... That's right. Westminster Bridge. And why is the tree red? The tree is red to represent the leather seats in the House of Lords. Yes! Good memory. Okay, so the room, it's fine, right? It, we're here one night. We've paid forty-four pounds, I believe, for the for the night. The bed, okay, go on. I have a bad feeling about this bed. It's a hard bed. There's no bounce. There is no bounce in that bed. Well, that's okay. You know, one night. One night. One night. I quite enjoyed the walk tonight. I haven't been to Camden for a long time, um, so it was it was nice to to wander around, and it was nice to see that if I wanted to, I could have got some street food. I could have got some of the food that they um, had on offer, and it was loads of things. You 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 saw. I know I don't do a running commentary when I walk through these places, but you know, Chinese, you know, falafel. Loads of, no loads of noodles, obviously those delicious, delicious bao buns. Oh, bao buns. And then, you know, St Pancras and, and, and King's Cross. A little bit unexpected. I wasn't fully expected to go in a Harry Potter shop. But nice to, nice to wander around. Remind, reminds me a bit of you know, going to Florida, going to Universal Studios, doing the Harry Potter world. But obviously... Universal Studios in Florida is slightly better than that. Tonight, what am I going to do? I'm reading a book called Horror Store um, by Grady Hendrix. So it's like a horror, it's like a horror um, story set in a, you know, not an IKEA store, you know, a rip-off IKEA store. Not far into it, maybe four or five chapters. It's okay. I think I wanted to read something a bit different from crime. It was there. On my in my Kindle list, I'd already bought it, so we have a read. Literally just woken up, so it is 7:30 now. But 
people have started to wake up and when people wake up people move around and this is a noisy hotel the floorboards creak so those floorboards have been going for 45 minutes almost non-stop like typically they've stopped now incredibly creaky floorboards and very thin walls um, I could hear every conversation I could hear every bit of laughter I could hear every TV channel it was loud uh, but apart from that everything else was, was fine the bed is hard yes but it, it's, it's comfortable once you're sleeping and the pillows were the best pillows yet and I think I'll walk to work uh, no parks today but I don't know the journey so it will be a surprise, it will be a new thing so we'll, we'll have a wonder I used to, I used to live in uh, like an apartment block, block of flats um, and this is kind of what it reminds me of Constantly being aware of your neighbours. Oh, they were noisy as well. What a horrible bunch of people they were. Yeah, high with them. Rubbish. So, you can't fit the kettle in the sink to fill it up. I've managed to fill it up, you know, this much, which is obviously enough for the tiny cups to give you in a hotel room. Um, but there's water <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> it's all over the sink. It's all on the floor. Um, it's it's a it's a swimming pool in there. That radiator. I didn't. Um, that radiator. I didn't catch it because I was just coming out of the shower. But my God, it was loud. Um, it was like there's there was a you know a chain gang of little tiny radiator people just you know banging away with their hammers and, and chisels and pickaxes just to make it work just grinding it and grinding it screaming in pain as they were doing so what I'm trying to say is that you know it was noisy maybe maybe a new feature of these videos is I'll start testing the bathroom stuff that they give me the complimentary shower gel because shampoo and conditioner is pretty useless to me isn't it right so there's no point using that but I can use the soap and I can use the shower gel. So I've used the soap. Ivelsley's soap. I feel all, all yuck. I don't smell particularly nice. Um, it's all soap. But it's not like a, oh, nice. You must, you must use some good stuff. It's more, uh, you smell clean, but you need to improve your toiletries. Yeah, all my skin is tight. Yeah, and it, and it just wasn't, it wasn't a very hot shower either, I had it on full blast, um, full heat, and yeah, well, it was, it was barely warm. Yeah, you can hear everything, everything. Yeah, the way I see it, if they give you tea and coffee, it's a gift. You know, you don't have to use it all in one bottle. So this this is my this is my pocket. This is my pocket of just in case stuff. So obviously some paracetamol. You never know when you need a spoon. Word is original. And then a bunch of tea bags and a couple of hot chocolates that you may recognise from a few weeks ago. Yeah, this is a whole bunch of coffee. All all treats. Some hand sanitizer in this in this climate that needs to that's important and then just as a treat you never know when you need some HP sauce. So am I gonna stay here again? Nah, probably not. Through the sunlight we reveal whales, whales. Who knew? That's it, that's the end of my week. We had a sleep, Arriva Hotel, King's Cross, probably not going there again. Walls were too thin, man. We had a walk through Camden and explored some of the train stations, King's Cross St Pancras, went to a Harry Potter store and we did some stuff. So, Reading Horace store by Grady Hendrix, 
and listened to Turnstile, um, which was fun. <laughs> He's just staring at me like I'm a madman. So now it's time to go home to jump on the old National Express, hopefully get a seat to myself so I can play some games or read my book or watch some whatever. But yeah, time to go home, see my wife, see my dog. And so until next week, night night. <laughs>